Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're back in Vault Hunters and I just quickly want to clear up a few things. The reason that there hasn't been as many episodes is because I'm basically just waiting for update 9 to drop. I'm pretty sure there now is a release date of I think the 30th. So as soon as that drops then Vault Hunters will be back to weekly. I just don't want to really do much because I know in update 9 they're revamping quite a lot of things. So I didn't really want to do much progress and then in update 9 a load of things change and we'd have to either redo it or go back on what we had done. But anyway, what we're going to work on today is I want to make this farm here somewhat automatic, which I think we can do that just with a few villagers. So the first thing I think we need to do is let's just say we had a villager inside of that. I have also extended this bridge to go all the way to the end just to add as like a sort of border around this island just so villagers can't fall off the edges here. They can still obviously fall off these edges, which I might do something about it. Maybe add some walls or something. But that's something I still need to decide on. I haven't completely made up my mind yet. So let's quickly head back over here because I want to grab some of these villagers. I think we need... No, I did not mean to do that. We are now going to have to take you because otherwise you're going to tell all the others that I punched you. I don't know. Can they actually see it? Because this one definitely did see it. Okay, your prices haven't gone down, which is good. So the first thing I think we need to do is let's just say I broke that block and also that block. Let's then throw a actual chest right there and then a hopper into the back of that chest, which I think let's just quickly break them. So something like that. Then I think if we actually put like the rail on top of here, so let's do something like that. That needs to be a hopper minecart, so I just need to quickly change that, which we can do because I have some spare hoppers. I think I will also have another one of these over in that corner, just so we have one on either end. And then just like that. Now, I think how this would work is we have a villager in the actual top. So let's quickly just head up and throw the villager into there like that. That villager should now not be able to move. I also don't know, does it need to be a farmer for it to actually accept the items? Let's quickly just grab ourselves some composters. Uh, composters, do we have any? We don't. How are composters made? I think it is literally just wooden slabs. Yep, it is. There we go. So two of them will be okay for now. I think we will eventually need more because I think I don't actually know how many villagers I want wandering around. Maybe like four. So there's one for each of these bottom ones. And then one for the top ones, although I don't actually think they will harvest the melons and pumpkins. So let's now say we break that block right there. And let's also quickly just place a block there and put that there. Are you now going to turn into a farmer? You have. Perfect. So if I now break that and put another workstation, let's say right there, with another one right there. You should now go and harvest these potatoes, I think, or at least I'm hoping. Yes, okay, the actual villager is harvesting them. So it should then pick them up, and when its inventory is full, I'm hoping it will take them to this guy right here. These have also been working, so we've been starting to get some resources from them. But I guess let's just leave this, and we'll come back to it in, let's say, about half hour or so and see what has happened. We actually need some netherrack before we jump into a vault because we actually haven't got any and we need it for our next crystal. So we're gonna have to jump into one of these crappy crystals and hope that we find a nether theme. I have no clue if the nether rooms were made rarer, but I have literally not been able to find any. I did run a few vaults before the actual video to see if I could actually get it done off camera. And I couldn't. And now inside of this vault, I still haven't been able to find them. I know there are like three different types of nether rooms, I think. You can find like a soul sand valley one, a crimson one, and a warped forest one. And then I think also you can find the actual like uh, parts, that room with like the crane in the middle. I think you can find nether themes underneath the crane. But currently it's literally just running from room to room hoping we find it because we can't actually get any nether rack from the nether due to the nether is skyblock as well. I also don't think there's any POIs that spawn with nether rack around them. We've also almost completed this vault so maybe that is something we'll also be able to do. I did look at this and the only way to get nether rack from this is once again create but that's still crushing nether gold ore which you can't really get inside a sky block. This is the crane room I was on about. There is the crane. And sometimes down here, I'm pretty sure you can find like little patches of never. Although I found like four 
and none of them have seemed to have it so i don't know if that's something that's just like rare no nope, once again we haven't got lucky with a nether theme so what i think we're gonna have to do is just break some netherrack that we have placed to decorate the island and we'll have to replace it eventually when we find more we did complete this vault though so we can quickly just check what we got let's quickly just throw all this away let's actually throw it all into the system so it's obviously already in there and there we go that is all we really got i didn't actually get much within the vault because it was one of the scrappy crystals so from this vault we got okay there looks to be a decent amount there let's quickly just look at the jewels we'll roll a vault gear in a second a mystery egg that's actually really good uh, shoveling for 59, shoveling for 63, pickaxing for 67, 33, that's not too bad, and 61. All of them are actually rubbish, so we can throw them straight in. So the only really good one we got there was 33, but that's still not the best. Uh, we did also get some Volt gear, so let's quickly just roll this. We also have some jewels in here that I didn't know about. We'll actually look at them in a second. And also some more Volt gear that I didn't know about. I don't actually know where I got this Volt gear from. Maybe from the actual uh, uh, crates that I got. So let's quickly just roll this as well. And while that's rolling, we can quickly look at these. 41, that's not too bad. 33, that's not too bad. 70, that can be burned. 26, that's actually not too bad. 22, uh, 88, that can go. 35, that can be kept. And 65, that can be burned. So the Volk is right now, that's five and that's one less than our actual current chest piece. The axe, I don't like using axes, so I don't really care about that for now. Uh, seven we don't actually have a vault boots on because they broke so they're actually going to be really good so yeah they're actually not too bad they don't have any good like prefixes but i guess they're not too bad also a sword that's really bad compared to the one we currently have shield uh not too bad of a shield and leggings they're really bad compared to what we currently have one thing i do quickly just want to do is actually sort out some of our items so let's quickly just grab some hoppers and chests let's also throw all this in because we don't want it on us currently because what i want to do now is start smelting down a lot of the actual bolt gear that is kind of rubbish and we don't want because we have so much of it as you can see like a lot of these chests are actually full as you can see i now have all the actual bolt gear we own in these chests so i'm now going to quickly go through it i'm not going to do that on camera because i guess it will be boring I will show you before I burn it what we actually burn and what we keep. I have now gone through all the actual vault gear. So let's quickly just clean up some of these actual shock boxes and stuff. And I also, I have gone through all these I think. That actual sword I can take out of there as well. The two idols can stay up there. Let's throw them into there. In here is all of our vault gear. That's the boots we are keeping. We've then got some more gems in there. I need to sort out all these chests as well. So let's now go and show you what I've actually done because everything within, okay that chest is now also empty so we can break that. So everything within these chests I'm actually keeping. I will quickly just go over them if you want to pause on any of them and actually read them fully you can. I'm just going to go over them quickly because these are things that either have good armor or good damage. Or they have like really good uh, prefixes and suffixes. So you can see a lot of them are just basically the same. Just with high damage or actual good prefixes. We then have these which I'm also keeping as well. Because I didn't actually realize we do have some chest pieces at like 8 to 9 armor. Which is actually a lot. I didn't actually realize we had them. So I am really glad that we did go through and basically just check all the armors. So that is all the ones we are keeping. And this is all we are throwing. So it's not much. But I actually I guess it's around the same. Because we've got a single chest there and then one line. Okay we're keeping like another line extra of gear. So what we need to do now is basically pick up the recycler. Because I now want to make it so I can reset this to be automatic. So if I do something like that. Uh, no that chest shouldn't be there. I don't know why I put that chest there. The recycler needs to be there. And then there needs to be a chest and hopper on top. So can I just have a chest lead or a hopper leading straight into the top of that? Is that going to work? I don't know. Let's quickly just try. Uh, I guess let's quickly just throw that into there. So I can now quickly just take all of this and burn it. I uh, think this should work. So if I throw all that into there. Yeah, it's actually, I can hear it at least. I haven't burned anything I want. I don't think I have. Okay. And then finally these things right here. Let's once again throw them in. And there we go. So we've got our sword and our pickaxe. And then everything else is now being burned. So what I want to do now is let's quickly just place down these shulker boxes. Because I now want to put all of this into shulker boxes. 
So I can put it back over there with the rest of our actual uh, items. And then from there, let's quickly just pick up this chest as well. We now have obviously all our gear sorted. I did not mean to let go of break. So let's carry on breaking that. And now I just need to like sort it out over here because obviously we didn't have a creeper explode and destroy it. How many of the actual scrolls do we have? We have two living and three wooden. Let's quickly just make some living ones. And how, what is it called? It's uh, called wood. Yep, yeah, there we go. So let's just make two of these. And they not stack. They do stack. I don't know why they wouldn't then. So let's, I guess, put the two actual living ones there and there. Because then it's like two wooden, gilded to separate them, and then two living. We also do have an exalia log, which can go on the end there, just to make it obviously even. And now from there, uh, these do have some gear in them. So let's quickly just place all of them down. And these ones are empty, so we can keep them right there. So this end one is going to be for our jewels, and then that empties up that chest. Then if, have we got any more jewels? We haven't. Uh, have we got any jewels in any of these? Okay, we have. Maybe we might have a lot more jewels than we do have room for. I think... Yeah, no. Okay, we have two spare jewels. I guess spare things could go in like one of these wooden ones. Can then go in the other actual thing. So let's quickly just grab all of this and that can go in here. Once again, we might have more vault gear that can fit. This is part of the elemental set. So do we have anything in that set? We do. So we now have two in that set as well. Now this has finished smelting. So okay, we've actually got quite a lot of resources from that. Uh, let's quickly just look at these because I'm pretty sure these have different like things on them. That can be used to modify vault gear. Reforge all prefixes and suffixes granting reach. Uh, granting sweeping hit chance. Baneful and mana. Okay, they're kind of cool. Uh, I put this into the wrong thing. So let's quickly just grab that out. And it needs to go into here. So magnetite can go in there. Uh, do we need... We need vault bronze. Let's take the gold out. And then all of this stuff can go back into there. So magnet. There we go. We need the magnet. Uh, yep, we do have everything. It costs nine of these. So we can literally only make one. So let's quickly just do that. And let's now see... Uh, you have to roll this like Volt Gear, I think. You do. So it's now rolled. It's 4.2 range and 4 velocity. I actually don't think that's too bad for a magnet. The durability is 3,000. If I do that, you can see. Okay, the fl uh, range could be between 4.1 and 5. So we got a, ro a low roll on that. But we got a high roll on the velocity. I don't actually know if that's used anymore. I'm pretty sure that was scrapped. But I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not going to touch it. I'd also really want to go over here and see if this has been working. Uh, I'm hoping it has. If not, then no, it hasn't. Okay, why is that? Is it because that villager up there can't see this villager? Or is it because this one is a farmer? It could well be. So that's really everything I wanted to get done today. I did want to work on that a bit more, but because it don't work, I guess there's nothing we can really do and I don't really have the time to break all that and rebuild it in a different way. Another thing I do want to do in the future is make these islands more like islands rather than just floating platforms. So maybe add some like uh, uh, stone underneath them to make them come to like a shape to make them look like they've rose from the void. But once again, that's going to take a lot of time and that's not going to be easy either because we have to like kind of either build down there to do it. But anyway, that is where I'm going to end this video. I do apologize that we didn't actually get much done. I did just want to upload a video to basically say why Vault Hunters hasn't been as common as it was. It will return back to weekly episodes as soon as Update 9 drops. I just didn't want to do much within it and I was trying to wait till we got a release date. So if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.